been looking for him, retracing my steps, as if he was something I lost on the way to work, a pair of gloves, a scarf. I started searching for him in my big leather purse, in my gym bag. He was like an expensive jar of cream that rolled into the toe of a sneaker. I had never needed to look for him before. Even when he was gone for months on end, sometimes years, I didn't worry. I knew he was somewhere out there doing whatever fantastical thing he said he was doing and that he would turn up eventually when the time was right with birthday greetings and happy new years or just congratulating me on some ridiculous random holiday. Please accept my warmest wishes on this remarkable world malaria day, he would announce on the other line. Maxi, I would sing overjoyed to hear my old friend. Is that really a holiday? Of course, look it up on your calendar. But I don't have malaria. That's why congratulations are in order. <laughs> he would laugh and we would immediately plan, make, make plans to meet for dinner somewhere in the city, someplace small, cozy and delicious. And now he was dead. Some girl I didn't know, some model wannabe Veronique posted a photo album on Facebook entitled Rip Max Florentine. A bunch of people I've never heard of Supposedly, his friends flooded his timeline with sad faces and condolences. Rest in peace, dear friend. 62 is just too early. We'll all meet there one day. I sat on my red couch in the living room, drinking coffee when I saw the post, something round, resembling a tennis ball formed in the pit of my stomach. What? What happened? When? I emailed the girl immediately. Hi, Vera. I'm sorry to bother you, but may I ask what happened to Max Florentine? He's gone. But what do you mean? When? How? Two years ago, he was diagnosed with inoperable cancer. I'm trying to do an accent here. With inoperable <laughs> cancer, and they decided to leave with his wife. Leave? Double suicide, shoot to death. His wife? You mean I? I didn't know her at all. How did you find out about Max? His best friend tell me, so I find these pictures he took long time ago and post them. Who is his best friend? Listen, I'm not sure I have to answer your questions. I knew Max really well. He was like my uncle. He was virtually my godfather. So I'm not the right person to ask these questions. <laughs> okay, thanks for your help. He's been gone for two years and only this Facebook announcement, some stupid girl's vanity display, a girl who could barely write in English informed me of my friend's death. I couldn't believe it. It can't be true, it just can't, it simply cannot. I repeated in agony going through Max's social media accounts. No activity in the past two years. If Max was terminally ill and had decided to kill himself, why didn't he tell me?